All right, hey Taurus, so we're doing a ghosted check-in. For those that you for those of you who have been um ghosted. All right. So, I don't know what phase or level you're on. You're going to know that. You're going to know that this is your read, however, with your energy and how you feel about the whole situation. If you don't resonate with that, check your moon rising and Venus placements. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys stick around. Subscribe. If the video resonates, please like it so that it, um, it cycles through YouTube. So that other people have the opportunity to see it. All right. So your um, energy right here, Taurus, you are yourself feeling um, like you're blocked uh you're feeling like you're blocked from this person or you have blocked the person because uh, you don't appreciate what you are being put through, right? So with the two of swords coming through with your energy, it could be too that you just don't see this uh, as something that um, could potentially work out in the future just because of everything that's transpired. All right, the moon card tells me that you might, you probably have some deeper, darker energy going through your mind right now. Could be that you're just not trusting the situation or the person um, because you feel like they're keeping secrets. And ultimately, it's like, just get me away from the situation. Get me away from this person. Get me away from everything that's going on right now. So how you feel about the situation. The sun card coming through. All right, so here's what I'm going to say, how you are feeling about the situation. Um, here's what I'm going to say. Um, this is, I almost feel like past tense feelings right here. All right, well, the sun card, how do you feel about the current situation? I mean, it's never a uh, happy music, all right, when this happens to us. With the sun card coming through, though, I do feel like, um, w you know, when you and this person were together, they, you, they, the dynamic was happiness all right um it's almost kind of like i'm seeing this balance of night and day dark and light bad and good okay um but here the, how do you feel about the situation i do feel like you got words to speak to this person with the king of swords coming through all right i feel like um you know it's like i still want some honesty to come through and with the death card coming through on how you see or feel the situation is with the death card coming through i feel like that's uh you pretty much knowing that it's it's at the end i'm done with it or um there's opportunity here and it do, it does the dynamic needs to uh, tr it needs to transform there has to be a rebirth of this before it can actually work right all right but anyways ultimately seeing that there has to be a revision the person that's on your mind their energy their energy Eight of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Nine of Pentacles. All right, so the person that's on your mind, um, they're coming through. All right, so here's what I'm going to say. You guys, when people embark on the spiritual aspect um, or the recognition, you know, that soul level, um, that is, um, it's, it's, it's going to be uh, good. It's going to be questionable, okay? So I feel like what's coming through, and I'm not making excuses for this person, but I feel like what's coming through with the Hierophant card is this person's questioning a lot when it comes to um, you guys meet, how you met, where where you guys took off. You know, I don't know the whole background. You're going to know that. Um, but I feel like this person is questioning a lot, especially when it comes to the universe, God, faith, whatever it is, however they believe. Um, and in this energy right here, it's like this, this person's just being, um, really closed off with the nine of pentacles coming through. Um, I, I very much a single, um, energy. However, I do feel like this person could be too recognizing, um, that there is a, there's an appearance um, being made here of wish fulfillment, but this person can't see past anything right now. It's like, they're all tied up in their own, whatever it is that's going through with whatever's going on with them. It could be their own question. Their, it could just be they're tied up into their own um, religion, their own faith, their own belief system. All right. And it's like, um, what I, I don't know what the hell is going on here. I almost feel like they're just kind of wondering what's going on here with this situation. What's going on here with this connection? Um, let's let's just see what, what's going on with this person. Coming through um, with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah. So... Uh, here's what I'm going to say, Taurus, 
the person that you're coming, that you're dealing with, they do recognize this, um, obviously as a soul connection. Okay. The lover's card coming through tells me that this person recognizes it on a soul level. All right. There, and this Knight of Pentacles energy is that wounded warrior card. Um, and it could be too, they're coming through with the wounded warrior, the, the wounded knight, because, you know, they've been treated like option in the past. They've been treated like somebody who, um, was, was, uh, uh, unequal, um, to people that they've had before you. And, and they could have even told you this, but it's like the more you guys start communicating, the more you start talking, the deeper you guys get. And I almost feel like this person could have pulled back because of how deep you guys were getting. All right. So let's just see, why did this person ghost? Why did this person ghost? That, I knew that card was gonna pop out because it typically does when something's going wrong. Why did this person ghost? They're having some bad thoughts. They, they don't, this is ego. This person that right here, Taurus, is driven by ego. All right, so um, the devil card to me is one of the most prominent cards and ego could be the past pains, the past hurts. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave before I get hurt. I don't believe in this. Um, this is like, a, a, you know, a falsehood. This, all this, e this is ego. This person is, is um, um, ghosting because they're driven by fear, which is uh, driven by ego. So they have some less than desirable thoughts coming through their head. Like, why would it work? Why should it work? Um, you know, it's, it's never, it's like, woe is me. All right. Um, the queen of swords in reverse just, um, speaks that that is the bitter queen coming through. That is somebody who's been through pain, hurt, and loss. And it's almost like, let me just avoid it now by just uh, making myself sparse. You know what I mean? Um, the 10 of wands coming through is an, another, another depiction of just, uh, it, this person carrying the weight of the past hasn't really, um, let go or released it and if they have let go of and released and healed through like a, a past relationships it's um almost like uh when they when you guys disconnect it's like a rendition of what they've already experienced so this person is just holding on to a lot and i feel like it is ego it's driven by ego how do they feel about you they're not they're not in they're not in their best energy okay this person's like all over the place when it comes to how they feel about you on one note you're giving them um, hurt anxiety they're hurting themselves they're giving themselves anxiety and pain and hurt um on the other note too they're like having severe ups and downs like i want this person no i don't we should be together no we shouldn't all right um this person's all over the place but ultimately they want they want to reach out to you and they want to tell you what's going on all right, you guys just have to figure out you y'all need to figure this out. It's it, all the reads have been pretty positive. Um, I think there was only one that hasn't been the, the super positive, but all of the reads for the most part have been positive. So let's see what's coming through the next 30 days or uh, between now and the next 30 days um, from when you stumble upon this. You guys. All right. So there's going to be some um, hesitation. All right. There's going to be hesitation for sure on whether we should connect, reconnect, um, or what but what i do feel is there is going to be a decision that's made in the next 30 days that uh, page of pentacles is about calling it in manifesting um, but also about um, a new beginning uh, uh, even if the new beginning is just oh we haven't talked in a couple of months um let, let's reach out all right and i do feel like you guys are going to be able to express some of the love that you hold maybe not love but some of the um the feelings and emotions that you guys hold for one another okay so let's just see what your advice is advice the advice okay so y'all are on just y'all are just on a little heal, um, healing phase right now um you know okay so what has uh, brought you down and even this person, um, you guys, yes. All right. This is the confirmation of the ghosting. When the four of swords comes, that shows up a, a break period. Um, but the four of swords, I'm keeping it in, in reverse because I do feel that's confirmation. This is going to come back around in the next 30 days. If you haven't heard from them or you're starting to feel their energy, the judgment card too is confirmation that this is being called back in because you guys have not settled the debt. Um, in this relationship and when I what I what I mean by debt is the um, past life karma that you guys have brought um, it's not over it's not done with yet so um, what I feel is you're going to be seeing this uh, change 
Um, I feel like you guys do have some things to work through. I don't know the um, in-depth past. That's what you're going to know. Um, but I, I feel like you guys, you guys, there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of feelings, but there's a lot to work through. And I feel like the biggest thing is going to be trust and honesty. And, um, Taurus, it looks like you're about ready to leave the situation. Um, you know, I, I just want to be done with it. This is too complicated, but I, I, it's not done yet. So no matter how far either you or this person tries to run in this case, if you guys are still here watching now, it just means that you guys are not done. Okay. So I'm going to pull some initials and we're going to see, um, yours or this person's first, middle or last. All right. And you guys are coming through with G. We have J, X, Y, we have V, R, Q, and O. So those are the initials that are coming through for this one, you guys. Um, I do hope that if it resonates, you'll like the video so it circulates YouTube. Um, other than that, um, just because your initials don't show doesn't mean as long as the rest lines up, you guys, it's your read, okay? Uh, you guys take it easy and have a beautiful, blessed weekend.